I've got my frying pan on a medium low heat and to that I'm gonna go in with two tablespoons of grapeseed oil now you can use whatever oil you want if you want to use vegetable oil canola oil corn oil coconut oil coconut oil will give it a lovely flavor um, olive oil hey do your thing scallion <clears throat> that is three scallions that I chopped up there some of you may call it green onion spring onion it totally depends on the location where you are the name may differ move that around and it's a garlic scallion oil so garlic and that is six large cloves of garlic that I gave a chop to I want it nice you know I want when you eat the rice for you to be able to get little bites little bites of that garlic in there now we're not trying to burn that garlic so that is why the heat is on a relatively low heat and the kitchen should already have that wonderful smell of cooking garlic we want to add a bit of heat to this and what I did was I have one bird pepper or one bird's eye pepper and I made a cut down the center so you can split it open and we're going to toss that in there I like it very spicy totally up to you if you want to do it or not so two of them in there the other thing I like doing when I'm making this this rice this scallion garlic rice you know vegans vegetarians everybody oh they're having a nice time with this one here gluten free yeah gluten free I like cleaning out the fridge and in the process of cleaning out the fridge I found I had half of a bell pepper left and I had some garlic chives so that is the bottom part of it there and again that is garlic chives totally optional if you have it by all means rock it and that little bell pepper is going to give us a little nice little color as well too so we're going to let that sweat down for about three minutes now as all that happiness happens in the pan here what we're going to do we're going to hit it with a tiny bit of sea salt um the rice here we're using pre-cooked or leftover rice i'm using parboiled brown rice you can use your jasmine your basmati whatever you like using plain old white rice do that that rice has already been cooked in salted water so we're not trying to overdo it with the salt but we're going to hit it with a a nice dose of black pepper. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a Caribbean recipe. This is something that shows up in Uncle Chris's Canadian Caribbean house. So it will not show up on CaribbeanPod.com. However, the technique is right here for you to see and the full list of ingredients will be listed down in the description below. We only got allowed this to cook for another minute or so. To give the rice that white that you know that white rice is gonna look plain on your plate with a little bit of color but to give it a little bit more color and a little bit more flavor we're gonna go in with some turmeric or what we call sofran move that around as well and just let that waken up that sofran or that turmeric there for one minute and then we'll add the pre-cooked rice now it's important that well not important but it works better if your rice has is chilled it goes nice and grainy and it gives you a better texture and a better quality dish at the end so another minute here now we're going to turn the heat up to medium that noise that you're hearing there i have childproof locks on the stove knobs because zaire loves to think he's chef zaire and always playing with the stove so that's the noise that you heard there but in goes the rice And then it's just a matter of warming that through. There's a ton of flavor in here. We got that turmeric. We've got that garlic, that garlic chai. We've got that scallion. We've got that bell pepper. We've got, yo, it's just flavor upon flavor up in here, man. A little bit of bell pepper is gonna add a niceness to it as well, too. Now, while I'm doing this, what I like doing, the tops, the flowers of that garlic chive, I'm gonna toss it in there as well. And it's just a matter of mixing and warming this through. Up, soldiers. Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, then butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene.